Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash, Season 8, or Season 8 as the normal people say. So we are under the three week mark until The Flash Season 8 finally hits our screens, of course kicking off with the Armageddon event for the first five episodes and technically the first half of the season because of the break. But thanks to the Season 8 trailer that was released uh, like just over a week ago roughly, we have a decent grip on what is going on within the Armageddon event without knowing a ridiculous amount at the same time. Now we should hopefully get another promo or trailer in the next week or so if we base it off how the CW has released trailers and that sort of promotional stuff in the past. Might be promo images, could be another short promo. I don't know, that's for us to wait and find out and see all of that. And just quickly, uh, if you want to leave some questions in the comment section down below for a final Q&A video on The Flash Season 8 before the season actually starts, that would be awesome. Probably do that video in the next probably week or two around that you know portion before the season comes out. So if you have any, have any questions or even theories, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and cover that in a video sometime soon. And also just leave other thoughts in the comments below on the topic that we're going to be talking about in this video because curious to hear what you guys might have to say about it. And of course, if you enjoy the video, looking forward to any of this stuff, would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support for everything. So yeah, Armageddon finished filming about two to three weeks ago. And of course, they kept the ball rolling for filming this season by filming episode six, which looks like it will be the episode that Eddie Thorne returns in. In what ways for us to wait and find out like usual? But we know this will be an episode in which Bart and Nora, or Impulse and Excess, will be doing some time traveling to the past, and what also looks like to be the future as well, based on some new photos that have been posted online, funnily enough, by one of the actors. It's not some, like, leaked photo from set from, like, 100 yards away, they just were put on social media. Now, as I said, Bart and Nora look to be the focus of at least one episode following Armageddon, that being episode six, and another actor that we know that would be, or knew that would be returning to reprise a character at around this point of the season was John Wesley Shipp as Jay Garrick. Now, of course, we only got him a handful of weeks ago on Stargirl, but this time around, it's time to return to Earth Prime. Now, he wasn't seen around anything to do with the scene set in the past that we covered in a video, I think it was like last weekend, which included Eddie Thorne returning, but he was the actor who actually revealed some photos from set uh, on social media, which give us a better idea as to what could maybe be going down or going on in this season of The Flash following the Armageddon event, and maybe what it does to a certain character. So John posted a handful of photos to mark the end of his guest appearance stint in this episode of The Flash Season 8. We don't know if he's returning, you know, because they can fly. They don't have to stay in Vancouver because there's no quarantine anymore. So he might be going home and then coming back two weeks later to do another episode. But at least for this specific episode, he's finished up. Now, some of these photos were him on a plane and all that general stuff. But he did post two photos of interest, two photos from set in a certain familiar area. But not an area based in the present day. So as you can see here, we have John with a crew member. Uh, I think one of, the is, one of them is the director, as well as Bart and Nora, or Jordan Fisher and Jessica Parker Kennedy, who play Bart and Nora. But they aren't in Jitters. They're not even in like apartment four, to my disappointment. But they are in the Flash Museum, specifically in an area focused on the Flash, not the Hall of Villains, or whatever it was called from previous seasons and, you know, that we visited a couple of times or the gift shop or anything like that. It's in the area dedicated to the Flash and I guess the other heroes, like there probably would be like a kid Flash suit and like a vibe suit, a Killer Frost thing, maybe all, all a Frost thing, all that stuff. Now, I would assume this is episode six, but it could be episode seven, but it is hard to tell because there were holidays in Canada, I think. So filming doesn't happen those days. So this could be the same episode that has Eddie Thorne in it, which we... Uh, think is episode six, or it could be the episode after that being episode seven. However, John said the director for the episode he is in is David McWurter. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm 99% sure he was the director listed uh, for episode six. But regardless of whether it's the same episode or not, we will be traveling to the past where Eddie Thorne will appear, as well as traveling to the future or seeing scenes in the future um, in some capacity. Because Barton Nora might have returned to the future following the end of season seven we just didn't see it we're led to believe they stay in the present for a bit but they might have gone back to the future off screen and this episode makes them have to come back to the past to do some stuff but how could the flash museum play into things why are they hanging out there well the main thing i can think of that would play into an episode uh episode story with the flash museum would be that they as in bart nora and maybe jay use the Flash Museum in order to find events from the past and the timeline to visit to in order to solve something or potentially fix something 
or just explain something. And there is a clear missing member who we know loves to time travel and mess with the timeline who might be central to what Bart, Nora, and maybe Jay are trying to figure out or fix. And that missing member is, of course, your boy, Barry Allen, aka The Flash. So what could be going on in this episode that has these people doing stuff in the past and even some stuff in the future, but not Barry? So in Armageddon, we know there is going to be some just some just some really weird stuff going on with Barry himself, along with everything else, but Barry himself, but also just reality as a whole is going to be weird due to what Despero is doing, you know, Despero being the villain for the event. Like we know there is going to be some time traveling in some capacity in the event, whether it's big, small, or somewhere in the middle. And we also know stuff like Grant Gustin um, being a version of Reverse Flash, like that's going to be going down as well. Whether that's Barry Allen as Reverse Flash, or it's a young Ebard Thorne, or a plastic surgery influenced Ebard Thorne that looks like Barry Allen, we don't know. I don't. We have no idea. The context of all of that, like everything else, is still up in the air. But that is why we watch the show to find all of that crazy stuff out and get it revealed to us all, or get it all revealed to us. But what if something happens to Barry at the end of the Armageddon event that then leads into what we are seeing happen with Bart, Nora, and I guess to an extent, Jay as well? Because we didn't see Jay in the past, so he might just be dealing with them in the future, like being like a messenger saying, hey, something's wrong, but I can't do it. You're going to have to do it. So the Armageddon event will be the first five, five episodes of the season, as I was saying, but it will end as the Christmas break starts. So episode six with Bart, Nora, and company won't air until late January or early February. It will be the mid-season premiere. And we know they love to leave us on cliffhangers, especially when we are going on a bit of a break. And the Christmas break is about five to six weeks, roughly. So it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if something were to happen to Barry at the end of Armageddon or the Armageddon event that makes us go, uh, what the hell just happened there? What the hell is going on right now? And seeing that Armageddon is going to be dealing with weird things with reality and the timeline and potentially alternate futures, and we are seeing stuff going on with Bart and Nora involving them traveling to the past, I could see Barry potentially being lost in the timeline or trapped might be a better word to use in regards to that, but just some weird stuff where the, the fate of Barry is you know up in the air and there's a question mark on all of it. Now we do see Bart, Nora and Jay in the Flash Museum around the area dedicated to, and this might seem crazy, the Flash as I said earlier. Now obviously in previous seasons, as I said earlier, we've mostly seen the villains area. So maybe what we are seeing the trio do here is maybe pinpoint a specific moment where Barry would show up as the Flash in the past, or maybe they're looking at things that have changed due to the Flash not being there. We know that Despero was looking to get rid of the Flash, so there is a chance he somewhat succeeds in that mission while not succeeding overall with what he is trying to do. That might sound confusing, but that's just what time travel does. It makes things confusing. Obviously, we know that Iris will be dealing with some time-based weird stuff as well, but that is going to be going on all season long, apparently, so it probably won't be connected to this, at least in a major way, I don't think. But maybe it's even things like the Flash is like disappeared throughout the entire timeline. Like He still exists, but he's not showing up at certain points, so maybe Bart and Nora have to fill in the gaps and do what he was doing. I'm not too sure. It's going to be really interesting to find out why they have to travel to the past specifically. But one of the telltale signs that we could be dealing with a no flash type situation or story, at least for one episode, is that it seems that Grant Gustin, Grant Gustin is having an episode or maybe two episode break following the filming of Armageddon, which he probably did more work on than anything related to The Flash since maybe season one. It looked like he did a lot of filming for that, way more work hours than a lead actor would be doing in an eighth season, even if it was a season three or season four would be seen as a lot for the main actor, actor to be doing, seeing that their work hours change the longer a show goes on. However, it is good that they are using that break for Grant possibly here to do an episode or episodes that still involve the story and mystery around him with characters like Nora, Bart, and Jay, rather than those uh, interlude episodes from last season, which weren't overly well received to say the least. I'm sure you know what episodes I'm referring to there. But all of this gets me heavily intrigued. Like I love time travel. I think it's something that is so integral to the Flash as a character because it's such an overpowered ability that is just cool when they use it, even if it's for a small like one episode thing, as long as it's not going to be anything that's sort of like heavily breaks continuity i don't think it's like i don't mind if there's like little things there but when it's something that just completely doesn't make sense okay then maybe they shouldn't have done that uh season five hint hint um but yeah we probably won't get a major hint as to what is really going on here until we see the final part of the armageddon event in i think early december i know what specific date that episode will air but early december 
as well as the trailer for episode 6, or a trailer that at least contains footage from episode 6. I'm not sure that what they'll release specifically in regards to that. Trailers around the longer breaks can be weird and unpredictable. Sometimes they don't release specific episode trailers around that time. They'll just release like a mid-season trail, which has footage from episode 6, 7, maybe 8, and stuff like that. So I'll have to wait and see, but... I think that'll be the first major hint we get at anything that sort of explains what's going on with Bart, Nora, Jay, Eddie, the past, all this time travel stuff, the Flash Museum, all of that. So it's a bit of a wait, but man, we've got Armageddon coming. I think I think we should all be focusing on that because I'm excited for that and hopefully you guys are as well. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your general thoughts and predictions and even... Other theories based off all of this in the comment section, I'm always curious to read them as well as any questions you have for that Q&A video coming sometime in the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.